we are here at the St. Louis Science Center in St. Louis, Missouri. So while we're here, we get to learn a little bit of our rich history in St. Louis, how the arch was built, some of our infrastructure here, and just a lot of construction and how things work. Michael, let your sister get a turn. <laughs> Okay, Woody, so the ball is moving due to kinetic energy. You know, kinetic energy is energy that's like due to motion. So like when you're walking or if you fall, you know, like a roller coaster or like a car moving forward or backwards. All right, we are in Makerspace Manifesto. Destiny, what you over here doing? You trying to make the flag fly? You have no idea what you're doing, do you? Oh, uh, this super dope, Woody. Come look at Iron Man. Hey, Destiny, you know you know we can do this same trick with a vacuum at home. <laughs> All right, now we are at game exploration. Let's look on the inside and see what this is. Ooh, this looks nice. There are video games as far as the eye can see. I am gonna love it in here. So you put this strap on your head and you use your mind to control the ball. Sonic 
on a Sega Genesis. Oh, the memories. <laughs> So this is a memory game yep. where you have to write down everything inside the box that you see? Yep, when you tell us to. Okay, 30 seconds. Go, go, go. So you got 30 seconds to write down as no, many. Now you can write down until you're done. Oh, write down until you're done. Okay. I'm not ready for that. Stop looking at the No, I'm trying to back so you don't look He didn't say draw what you see. He said write what you saw. I can't write what I saw. I can't write what I saw. What's that paper clip with the black and like the suit? No, I did the obvious things. Hold up yours again, Woody. I did the easiest things. So when you see something like this pen, what happens is the brain is a couple thousand drawings. You back your brain, get excited to give you the original pen. Trying to remember the image of the pen using the area up here in the left front of your brain to hold on to the image that you're actually storing in the back of it. But if you're trying to remember what it's called, you got to name it. That involves a different area in the left front of your brain called Brokers area. And that's the part of your brain that controls your language. So you remember words in the left front of your brain and you remember images in the back of your brain. Uh, the memories in the, in the back of the brain. So while we're here at the Science Center, we're going to be sitting in on a science experiment explaining fire. Are you excited to learn about science? Michael, are you excited to learn about science? What are you excited to learn about science? Yeah, I, read, I already know about science. Because you already know I watch, about science? I, already, I watch Emily's Wonderland. Oh, okay. Alright everybody, it is now that time. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the Science Center today. My name is Riley and I will be your scientist for today's demonstration. Now today, we're going to be doing some experiments with fire. That's the part where you cheer for the fire. Okay, okay, yeah, thank you, thank you. Isn't there spring break? Are you guys on spring break right now? Yeah! Okay, 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 that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Now of course, we burn gasoline to make our cars go, but anything that'll burn is a fuel, right? Could be a dry leaf on the ground. As long as it burns, that's a fuel, right? So we need oxygen, we need fuel, and we need some kind of heat source to get the fire started, right? So to kick off the show, we're going to look at a few unique fuels here. Now these are a little bit uncommon, not things that we burn a whole lot on a daily basis. These are all actually different types of salts, and you're going to notice that our different fuels here are gonna burn a little bit differently, right? Sometimes they burn different colors. Just all depends what you burn, right? Now there's a couple that I wanna talk about specifically. All right, you guys know where you find lithium at? Yeah, yeah it's in your batteries, right? All, anything with a rechargeable battery has some lithium in it, gives us this kind of purplish flame. Now does this mean you should go home and set your batteries on fire? No! No, it does not, right? You will not get a cool purple fire. You will get a big hospital bill, okay? So don't do it. Don't set your batteries on fire, okay? But for our purposes here, get a cool purple flame. And my personal favorite, this really sweet green fire on the end, is some copper chloride. Now, you guys have probably seen, if you've ever seen an old penny before, pennies usually turn green when they're old. Copper, where we like to shoot fire into the sky, and we want it to burn all sorts of pretty colors. And of course we're talking about the 4th of July, right? So our strontium chloride is a really common ingredient for a lot of our red fireworks. So in this bottle here, I've got that same stuff, that strontium chloride. We just diluted it so I can spray it a little bit into the air just like so. Woo! So you'll notice, right? We get a huge red fireball, really pretty. Makes you say ooh and ah, right? now. This is, the, this is the same amount of fuel as I've got on the table, but you probably notice that our fireball is a lot bigger, right? So you guys tell me, what do you think we're getting more of when we spray our liquid into the air as opposed to the solid? Yeah, we're getting a lot more oxygen, right? So you guys know, of course, we spray a liquid into the air. That liquid really spreads out. All those droplets kind of spread out in the air. So a lot more of that fuel, oh no, a lot more of that fuel can touch the oxygen, right? So we get a much bigger fireball because of that. It's all part of the planet, people. Don't worry. Okay, it's all time to check it out. We can do the same kind of thing. 
Now our strontium chloride makes a lot of our red fireworks, and our copper chloride, not surprisingly, makes a lot of our green fireworks. You can see we have a really sweet green fireball. And again, the same thing's happening. You guys can actually take a closer look at this if you'd like to. If you want to take a closer look, make sure you walk slow. Okay, make sure you walk slow. Okay, check it out. So this is what we're going to use. You guys can come take a look. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Just make sure you walk slow. Okay, this is for our firework. We don't want to get too crazy. Just check that out. So this is what we're going to use right here. Does that look scary? Does that look scary? Okay, what do you guys think? What do you think? Want to check it out? Who wants to touch it? Okay, okay, you, come on, go, come on. Bang! Okay, okay. So I'm just playing, I'm just playing. So, so we're not really working with anything too dangerous at all. What we're actually going to use for our firework are a couple pieces of candy. Now, I'm sure you guys know, candy's mostly made out of what? Sugar. Yeah, mostly made out of sugar, right? Candy is a pumpkin on Halloween. You get a sugar rush, right? Lots of energy to be unpacked. So. We're gonna unlock this, okay, for our very own fireworks. So, here we go. Let's get down to it. You guys ready for it? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Now it's gonna burn a little bit slowly at first as that candy kind of starts to break down. But as more and more of that candy starts to break down, we start to get more and more of that sugar that gets exposed to our ignition source. And we end with a much bigger fireball than the one that we started with, right? And it gets a little smoky as that sugar burns up, nothing to worry about. Now it's a little bit short-lived, right? Because our candy's not too big. Our own rocket, we're gonna use this thing. Ooh, ah, you guys know what this thing is? A penny safe! Okay, you, you didn't look you very You put on your train ticket! A lot of people say this is a water jug, but you would be dead wrong. This is no right ordinary there. water jug, people. This is a science center whoosh bottle, everybody, okay? Okay, this is no ordinary water jug. Like I said, this whoosh bottle is going to be our very own rocket right up here, all right? Now, we know that we're going to need some oxygen for this rocket, right? Where's it gonna, where are we going to get that from? Air. Okay, it's already in the bottle, right? Lucky for us. And I've got some fuel that I'm going to put in here. And we're going to use a lighter to get this baby going, all right? So we're going to get all of this fuel nice and in our whoosh bottle for our rocket here. Now, I have a little bit of a problem, right? Because I can't really reach my light loud so we don't catch anybody off guard upstairs who may not be paying attention. Science Center visitors, this is a loud noise warning. We are making our very own rocket down here at the energy stage on the lower level. If you're on one of the upper levels up there, feel free to peek over the railing, see what we're up to down here. Again, this is a loud noise warning. Be prepared. All right, my friends, I'm going to put on my hearing protection here. And again, oh, he can put on the we know. <laughs> All right, we're going to count it down so we don't catch anybody off guard. And please make sure you use the palms of your hands to cover your stick your fingers in the ears. Palms like this, okay? All right, so here we go. Without further ado, Woo! our own bottle in three, two, one. Oh, one. Are you enjoying yourself at the Science Center? Yeah, I want to go in there. It's closed. I know. So you can't go in there. I know. It's closed. It's called money, money. Hmm? Oh, I have this money. I have money. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, Come on. Okay, ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Hey, little chicken. They are sheep, they are horses, they are cows, they are ducks, they are ducks, and they all live on the farm. They are pigs, they are sheep, they are horses, they are ducks. He doesn't want to say yes. Come on, Destiny.